No, first of all, before I start, because everyone say congratulations, Jesus, happy birthday. I want to put... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see because it was uh, no uh, good injury. I think Jesus can explain properly in English. That my explanation, uh, he can explain if you if you want Jesus explain a little bit the context of the injury. Yes, of course, uh, we are so disappointed with that. Uh, but we'll see if our six week or, or less. But I think Jesus can explain explain better. Yeah, Jan, since uh, he arrived from the World Cup, uh, play all the matches. So we planned last week with Hurricane trips, Danny Rose, to have non-competition during the week and prepare with uh, especially three training sessions. So he had an unbelievable week. But unfortunately, during the game, I was I think it was 15 minutes on the game, he got a knock in his hamstring with the pot, the biggest striker. And he was unbalanced and stretched his leg. And in that action, he injured um, the hamstring, so and then carry on playing for almost half an hour because he thought it was just the knock. So uh, and now we had one scan with him and another scan on Monday to know exactly uh, how severe the, the injury is at the moment. Uh, could take a while because it's not a normal in injury and you know, striking the ball or sprinting or decelerating. So it was uh, in a stretch. So and that. That kind of injury needs to be assessed uh, properly. And hamstring injuries um, have grades. Is it a grade one tear? Do you know? No, but recently all the grades has changed, and this is why the second scan after uh, almost a week to to have a clear image of the muscle, it's needed to before to 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 know the time frame of that kind of injury. Mauricio, the other injured players, is there any chance that any of them could play against Cardiff? No. Just some thoughts then about this game. It's a it's a big step a few days after Messi. It's Neil Warnock. How would you compare Barcelona and Cardiff? No, I think with full respect to Cardiff, it will be a tough game too. Um, in Premier League, it's not an easy game, and of course, um, <clears throat> everyone can think uh, the motivation to play against Barcelona and looks like now we are going to play Saturday and. Will be an easy game, and for me, it's in the opposite. The most difficult game is the the game that you, the, everyone, believe outside of the team that uh, you must win. And for us, it's uh, so important to be motivated in the same level. If not, we are going to struggle. Um, and it's a lot of example in football when you don't respect the opponent. But we have a full respect to Cardiff. And will be so tough. Uh, it was difficult uh, to beat them for different teams. Um, uh, we were watching. I think a similar um, style of philosophy of uh, Huddersfield that was so tough for us to beat them. Um, and of course, it's three important uh, points that we have uh, ahead playing with them. And, and of course, uh, we are so focused in try to don't be affected for the Wednesday. It's, it's true that the effort was massive. But um, we need to be ready. The competition doesn't wait for you, and you need to be ready again to, to play tomorrow. It was a spectacular match on Wednesday night. All the talk was about Messi. You praised the team for fighting so hard. But when the dust has settled, do you still think that you really have the squad to achieve what you want to here at Spurs after that match? I think it's, we need to split. If we want to compare with Barcelona, quality, or level, I think it's not fair to compare Tottenham today with Barcelona. Um, and then I think we have a squad enough to compete. And we 
show Wednesday that our squad is enough to compete uh, in every single game if we um, are brave like like uh, we were. And of course, after and then to win this type of match, uh, you need some lucky, no made a mistake. Um, and of course, um, how we start the game uh, was so difficult, so tough. I think in the worst way that you can uh, think or um, or prepare, or, but that is football. And for me, the most important was the reaction, um, how the team fight, never give up. Um, and of course, 3-2. Uh, for Barcelona, I think were 10 minutes, four or five action that we were so close to score uh, and draw the game. And I think uh, the most important thing is the relief of the player when uh, Messi scored the, the last goal, uh, how they behave on the pitch is uh, showing uh, how respect us and, and show uh, that the game always was open and Tottenham uh, um, was amazing in the way that we we fight, um, and of course, disappointed because the result uh, wasn't positive. But I think the image and the, in the way that we uh, play and, perf and performance and our character uh, was fantastic, and I feel so proud about that. A year ago, you were beating Real Madrid, and you were saying then that Spurs were one of the top teams in Europe. You still feel that a year on? year ago, uh, with the same squad, with the same squad, we, we beat uh, Real Madrid, but uh, that was one year ago, and uh, every year is different, and the team are different, and the form are, are different, but of course, I, I am happy with um, our squad. Hugo Lloris came back into the team um, on Wednesday and made a big mistake for the first goal. Are you still confident about him as your number one keeper and your captain as well? No, no doubt. My thing is um, who made the mistake. The first every day is me because, uh, uh, and everyone can make a mistake. For me, the reaction was fantastic. Um, the performance was good. Of course, uh, we lose the game. But I think it's no doubt about Hugo. Hugo is one of the best keepers on the world and that is not changed. Uh, um, nothing changed in, um, in my mind uh, how I think about him. Well, in the second half on Wednesday. How deserved is this call-up, do you think, by England? Well, it's not my, my job to judge if they serve or not. I think it's, it's more about uh, the manager of the national team that I congratulate for his extension of, of contract yesterday that they announced the, the FA. And um, no, it's, it's him to judge if they serve. If he was uh, called for, for the national team, it's because the manager feel that deserve to be called. Big Cardiff and your third and your one point off the top um, on Saturday night. That's not bad, is it going into you know, the weekend fixtures? Yes, um, it will be fantastic for us. But uh, we need to, um, before, to, to see the, the end of the race, we need to... To, to be involved in the race and to performance and uh, deserve to win on then. Because sometimes uh, it's like uh, we translate ourselves on the future and say, OK, uh, five o'clock, Saturday, uh, three points. And I think if you think like this, it's a massive mistake. You need to see yourself uh, playing well, performance well, scoring goals. Um, and that is the best way to prepare the game. Um, and thinking that it will be tough if we are not ready to compete from the first moment to the end. Sure, that is going to be um, a difficult game. Up to you. Up to you guys. Was it the Songman's decision to play on against Huddersfield? Jesus said he thought it was just a knock. Better you, Jesus, because I understand. Seguir jugando durante el partido. Y pero él pensó que era un golpe. Yeah, because we we asked him and we thought he could play because the first action was a contact. That sometimes is unusual to get a, a knock in your hamstring. Sometimes the leg is it's more common action, so that's why 
uh, it was planned, but uh, he was assessed in the half time, and as soon uh, all the all the information was uh, to prevent um, any any further damage, it was up. And then it's one thing, one component that this uh, is important: the adrenaline when you are playing football <laughs> is so high, and you no realize you run you are no in uh, in a uh, under stress competing and then when you uh, stop to run go to the I, say, I don't feel and it's too difficult to, to start but it's difficult to assess during the game and because he didn't realize how it was and only he feel that was a, a big knock from the striker and only he believes that was a dead leg no are you concerned that it could be like Toby's last year where it's two, three, four months? We can no guess. Hope hope that uh, as soon as possible it can be ready again. But, but we can no guess what is going Because uh, it's not about uh, injuries. No es acerca de de lesiones, acerca de después de cada uno, especialmente cómo como reacciona ante una lesión. Any, any single player reacts different in front of the same kind of injuries. So the way to recover, it depends. It was your phone before and your strength. So it's uh, difficult to guess, and especially until Monday, in the next uh, scan. Ben. Um, just, just to clarify something you, you said earlier, you said the plan was that he wasn't going to have competition this week. So the plan is to rest him against Barcelona. Just give him... What? No, no I think you, you well, we explained too much, Jesus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, because confused, was, was confused after. He was playing is... No, it's better to say nothing because if you want to clarify, he's more confused. I think it was clear him. What he said? The plan in Watford was to train him and few players more like Harrigan. Okay. That was the plan. And then that was the plan for Watford. We is day by day. Ah no 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 Barcelona. That was the confusion. Week. Yeah, that was all. That was the confusion. Okay, Nigel. Uh, the state of the pitch in Wembley is not ideal. Yes. Against a team like Cardiff, who put back Spain to a direct style, is it a, a leveller? No, I don't know. I know what to, to complain. I think it's. And maybe uh, from outside it looks uh, not good, but inside it's not. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's, a, it's possible to play football. And. If we not play well, it's, it's not because of the pitch. It's because we maybe lack of quality, but no, yes, but no uh, because of the pitch. I, I promise inside, when it's true from the stand, it's, you say, oh, it's difficult to play. But when you are there, you can see that, you can appreciate that it's okay, the, the, the pitch to play. No, only no. Um, we are, of course, it's so difficult the communication with the, all the national team. Uh, look now, uh, before my press conference, uh, you knew about the the Bertogen because uh, situation because uh, Roberto uh, told the media in Belgium before us. But then then it's it's our, our player, our Tottenham player are Tottenham employer and when the break you arrive here and you need to explain after no and and it's difficult they need to call us they need to call on us if they call us we are more than open to talk and give our opinion but if they don't call we are always the door open to receive but in that case like you asked me about Harry Wings uh, no one called me, and I think no one called you, and I don't know. Uh, you, you would call them? Uh, why? Just to I'm not going to, to, to... How explain? 
the natural things is if they have some doubt, call us. No, you call them. Because the players are here every day. And then our show is day by day. For them is every month, no? And they, I think, have a little bit more time than, than us, no? To be interested in the, in the player and, and call us. I think, I don't want to create a problem, but that is the normal behavior. The national team call you. No, you call and say, oh, be careful with this or that. It's like a, you don't want that the player go to the national team. I don't know if I am clear. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, one more on Harry Winks. Um, during the match in the, in the week, he seemed to get better and better as it went on, as if he was kind of learning as he was playing. How important are those kind of games against such big opposition for you kind of developing? No, but for me, it's, it's about to play football, no? to, to have uh, game time for him. Um, he needs to build his confidence and trust um, in himself and then to, to play in the way that he plays. I, I told you, for me, it's, it's, it's um is a very um, a player that is a midfielder, a real midfielder. Um, is dynamic, uh, play forward, um, the capacity uh, to run is dynamic. Only in, it's about uh, to be fit and, and 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 build his confidence. And of course, um, the game in Watford in, in Milton Keynes uh, was the same. Um, a star. Not so good, and, and start to build his confidence. And the second half was so good, and and again uh, Cardi 45 minutes. I think he played well. And again Barcelona was the same. Um, it's true that the team didn't start well. We start well in one minute, one minute and a half, and then we concede, and was difficult. But always the the, the team was was on the on the on the game. But I think uh, he finished. Uh, very strong the game, and that is is, is very good signal that um, he's fit and he can cope with 90 minutes. That's an important thing. Just a quick question about players being on the fringes of the squad. Uh, George Kim included. Has the, the injuries opened up any chance at all for him this weekend? No, easy. Is him is on the squad for 20 players for tomorrow? Yes. Um, I need to decide if he will be on the bench or not. Look, it's not easy when you have 25 players. I think really um, nearly all the players uh, play. I think we are the team that we gave more possibility to play uh, to the, the whole squad. But maybe for him, um, it's a struggle to, to take the opportunity for different reasons. But because maybe uh, I prefer to play with another player, and not because he's uh, good or not good, but it's because um, I decide to play with different players than, than him. Okay, if the camera's off, thank you.